What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Jack of Brick Hawkeye minifigure. It comes in this amazing packaging, comes with a limited edition collector's card, and I want to say thanks to Jack of Brick for sending this, and of course, be sure to hop down in the description to follow them over on Instagram so you don't miss out on any of their future releases. So let's get this opened up and take a look. So here we have the unboxed minifigure in just a quick turnaround we'll show you how awesome it looks. It's got incredible print detailing, a magnetized quiver on the back that goes on like that, and just really, really great attention to detail the whole way around. Starting with the legs, I love that we've got printing on all four sides. It is a little bit awkward that there's like a zipper uh, located where it is. Of course, that's supposed to be for like his tunic that he's wearing, but I just feel like that's a detail that didn't necessarily need to be included. Regardless, it does look great, and I love the way that the printing travels from the legs up to the torso, which has a lot of great detailing, especially on the arms with all of the little bands he's wearing. Like I said, there's a magnetized quiver on the back, so you can see what the back looks like, and then you just drop it right there, and it stays. We've got another printed arm on this side, and a very cool custom recurve bow piece that looks phenomenal. Moving up to the head, they really nailed Jeremy Renner's likeness, and I honestly think that this side of the head looks even more like Renner. Uh, I really like that kind of fighting, kind of angry face, but, you know, Jeremy Renner has never been, like, super angry, at least not in Age of Ultron, so that's pretty cool. The one thing I'll say is I'm not crazy about the hairpiece. I actually think if you take this hairpiece off and put on the hairpiece from Age of Ultron Hawkeye, it is just a little bit better. I can understand where somebody might like the custom hairpiece, but for me, I kind of like it this way. And finally, I wanted to compare it to the Age of Ultron Hawkeye side by side. So let's do that. There we go. They're side by side. The Jacka one is definitely, definitely a nice upgrade, but the Lego one isn't so bad either. I think it's aged pretty well. Drop a comment and let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to follow Jacka at the link in the description below so you don't miss out on their future releases, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.